Paul, throughout the book of Philippians, has been writing notes of encouragement, speaking into our hearts, at the same time challenging us to make sure that our lives are reflecting who Christ Jesus is. This is, after all, a love letter. It's a letter that, in, where he uses the word rejoice more than seven times. And it's not rejoice because you're in trouble. It's rejoice even though you live in a religiously pluralistic society. You still get to be able to proclaim Christ Jesus. And you do that by just being his person. Or as I say, this is a gerrymanism, just show up. Just let the Spirit of God do its work in and through you. Today we're looking at Philippians chapter 4, and there's just a couple verses here. The beginning of the chapter I want to highlight for us, because there's several key words there for us that we just need to get our head around. He says this in verses 4, 5, and 6. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Now, we get a lot on rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. As I said several times, seven times in this letter, he says that. And the whole word there is carol, charis. Enjoy, rejoice. Again, remember, joy is a root fruit. <clears throat> rejoice is to joy again. Joy again. Take joy in the fact that you know Christ Jesus. Carol, you know him. Rejoice. Have joy there. But then he gets to verse 5, and that's where this really helps us, because the context of this is an argument between two lovely sisters in the church, Udia and Cynthia. An idea there behind the two of them. We don't know what the issue is, but they're leaders. And Paul calls them his fellow servants. And so understand what he says next is, let your gentle spirit be made known to all men. Now, what's the idea there behind gentle spirit? We all look at gentleness and we go, oh, I don't know about that. Remember, the idea behind gentleness is the center between two extremes. Overly strong <laughs> to just kind of being there asleep. That's the idea behind gentleness. But what he goes beyond for a Greek word there is epiectic. And the idea there behind epiectic is this, a forbearing spirit. A forbearing spirit. Now, a forbearing spirit is the idea of being able to bear, forbear. But the idea there goes deeper. It is your willingness to forgive. Your willingness not to carry a grudge. Your willingness to lay down that issue and forgive. And we all need that spoken into our lives. Epi, ectike. How do we lay down our stuff to have a willingness to forgive? Why do that? Let your willingness to, be for, to forgive be made known to all people. Why? Because the Lord is near. Remember, Christ Jesus lives within us. It is who we are, whose we are, what we are. Therefore, a willing spirit to forgive means that I'm not overly angry or just kind of there running through the mill, just letting things happen. No, I'm centered because of my willingness to forgive, which then means that I'm really operating out of strength, out of who the Father is. Then he gets to verse 6. Be anxious for nothing but in prayer and supplication that thanksgiving, and with thanksgiving, make your request known to the Father. What's the word there, be anxious? Mary manna. And the idea there is not to have an overly troubled heart or mind, but to have a surrendered heart or mind. Because if we're Mary manna, we're, oh, no, be anxious for nothing. Submit those things to the Father with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Because the Father does not want us to be men and women of troubled heart. Men and women who have our minds overly burdened, but instead to surrender those things to him that he may then lead us. That is why we have the precious gift of prayer. 
So these three words, Carol, rejoice again. Epikete, forbearing spirit. Merimano, a mind that has released all these things to the Father, is how we live. Jesus, we bless you again and thank you. That, Father, you have given each one of us the spirit of forbearance, the willingness to forgive. That, Father, you give us the minds that can relax and give our things to you. We thank you, too, for the gift of rejoicing, Carol, because, Lord, of who we are in you. These things, Lord, we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.